What's up everybody? Today we're going to be checking out some different Dove decoys. And the reason why I ended up buying some decoys is because the last time we went out a uh, day after opening day here in California, we we saw about seven Dove and we were able to take some shots, but we were not able to actually bring any meat home. And so I am hoping with these two Mojo uh, electric or battery operated Dove, along with, we got this Cabela brand. Uh, they're just clip-on Doves. I think I might try to set these out in the field. Um, but with these, we're hoping to bring in a little bit more. Also, one thing that we felt like we messed up on was we got to the spot a little bit late. And if you hunt, you know that timing is critical, especially for animals that like to fly in the earlier hours. And so you really wanna be set up in position. And we were we were maybe an hour, nah, not quite an hour, maybe like 30 minutes behind, but even that little bit of time and ability to just kind of post up somewhere and wait for them to fly in really made the key difference. So let's see here. We can start, I mean, shipped to us by FedEx. We got the Dove decoys. It's kind of what the box looks like. It comes with six. This was only 20 bucks for a six pack. And the Mojo Voodoo Dove um, with magnetic wings. This was about $30, give or take. And it comes with the Dove. Flapping wings and a pole that goes. Operates for, sorry, operates for 16 hours, magnetic wings. So, uh, let me debox it. All right, so here you see we got the six dove. This is one that was just unwrapped. Kind of put that, see a little bit better. It has the label down here. They're just kind of a generic brand. They're hollow, um, pretty well constructed. I haven't put them out in the sun yet, so we'll see how they fade over time. Um, each of them are the same. And basically, uh, what you can do with these is you can clip them to the wire on a cattle fence or just any small enough to clip to. You could do a tree or something. Most most of the time people put them on fences or what I'm gonna try to do is maybe put some lower down in the field uh, because last time we were out there, we saw a bunch of dove that were kind of dancing around on the ground and we wanna mimic that so that a dove flying over might think, oh, hey, there's a nice mate down there or something. So, there's not too much to say about these. Just have to put in how they do later. And for 20 bucks, you get six of them. And I got them from Cabela's uh, or Bass Pro. Now it owns Cabela's. So, got them from the Bass Pro. On Amazon, you know, you thought maybe go get them on Amazon. They actually, there was not many of them available. And the ones that were there had bad reviews and were overpriced. So, one time when Bass Pro can get some shout out here for having a lower price and better quality i like to shout them out and keep them in the game all right so we just opened up the box here Let's see what we got inside we got a bird with no wings looks like the on and off switch is right here <laughs> of course and we got the rotating wings yep and these are the supposed to be magnetic or so so we got two wings a bird and then we got this little nice little stand over here and i don't know if i should start putting this together yet or not but this is basically what we got going on here comes out the box with these three now i'm gonna put it together and yeah, basically, I'm gonna set the wings in here. Easy money. But yeah, I'm gonna set it up. Let's do it. Step one, read instructions. All right, so basically what we're doing here is we're putting in four batteries into the back. Dropping them back in here. Closing this up. You're gonna connect 
you see a little dot down here and there's a little rib on here. Connect that onto there, clips in. Same side over here, drop this in, clips in. And in theory, there we go. Wings are flapping. So, turn that off. That's the front again. And basically when we go out to the field, we're gonna put this into the bar here. Uh, I guess this is just a solid bar. The bird will sit right up here. So let's see this bad boy in action. What's up everybody? We made it out here. We live. We live. We live. Getting prepared. Opening day for quail. But we're really here for Dove. And we're gonna try them decoys that we got in that part one of the video. So stay tuned. We're just getting geared up. Completely dark. Early bird gets the worm. Or early early worm gets the bird. What's up everybody? We're out here. It's about 5.36 in the morning. Sun's coming up. This is what the does look like in action. We got two set up. Two. Let's see if we get some dough. Really okay. Damn, one just landed right there on a, a branch over there in the middle of the field. Lee's coming towards us, maybe? Oh, oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Get ready, get ready. Wait, wait, yeah, wait for it. They might swoop down. Get ready. Oh, you got one. Uh, straight ahead. Yeah. What's up, y'all? We're back from the hunt, and I just wanted to give a last little review, a little update on how I felt about each of these different decoys, starting with the Mojo Voodoo Dove flapping, battery-powered. I would definitely recommend this. I think for $30, you're getting a lot of value and you're increasing your chances of having Dove come in. Although we're not the most experienced hunters, I would say that this definitely got us a lot more attention, a lot more shots than when we were just sitting out there with no decoys. And, you know, the, it's pretty lightweight. It doesn't add that much to the pack. And overall, it's worthwhile. Uh, we used two of them. Two of them seem to be effective. And again... The Mojo Voodoo Dove, got this from Bass Pro online. And then over here, we'll end with this, uh, with the six pack Dove decoys from Cabela, also from Bass Pro. These right here are a little bit harder to kind of uh, rate the effectiveness, but when paired with a flapper, it set up a nice scene. It looked like a bunch of doves just kind of hanging out in the field. And I would recommend getting these as well. It was $20 for six of them, and they got here really quickly. They're super lightweight, so they're easy to throw in the pack. And the clip's a nice addition just so it can rest on something out in the field. We ended up setting them, a couple of them on the ground, and a couple of them in the bushes surrounding the flapping ones. And that seemed to set up a nice scene, so I would recommend both of these products. Get you some Dove. Peace out.